China's aircraft carrier Nemesis. It has a combat power of over 6K and can carry nuclear bombs and fly across continents. China and the United States magically modified bombers at the same time and China achieved remarkable results. Not only is it one of the top five bombers in the world, it can also saber Dongfeng missiles and kill large aircraft carriers thousands of miles away. The American lunar rover is similar to the Chinese Zhurong, and even the new generation of large destroyers are similar in appearance to the 055. However, the matter does not stop there. Even the U.S. military's bombers must be magically modified at the same time as China, vowing to upgrade and improve the B-52H and B-2 bombers. How do China's final results compare? In this video, let us learn more about it. Bombers play an important role in military operations. They can not only participate in strategic bombing and tactical bombing, but can also directly fly over enemy territory to collect various useful intelligence and prepare for subsequent tactical formulation. Therefore, many countries, including China, the United States and Russia, regard bombers as the focus of research and development. Today, bombers have been developed for more than a hundred years. However, there are only a handful of countries that truly have the ability to independently develop strategic bombers. Among them, the United States is the most powerful. The B-2 it developed is the only stealth strategic bomber in the world. The powerful stealth advantage means that the B-2 can quietly enter target areas for bombing and reconnaissance during wartime. In addition, the B-2 has a combat range of up to 12,000 kilometers. With aerial refueling, it can even reach 18,000 kilometers. Therefore, the U.S. Air Force will be able to further enhance its global reach and global destruction capabilities with the assistance of the B-2 bomber. After several historical ups and downs, the United States no longer has a monopoly in the bomber field. Therefore, when China announced that it would carry out magical modifications to the H-6, the U.S. Air Force immediately announced the official news of the modifications. The U.S. Air Force is preparing to conduct a large number of tests on the B-2, with the key project being the Defense Management and Control System. This system will be able to use antennas, receivers, and display processors to obtain signals from enemy land-based air defense weapons in advance. This will enhance the B-2's avoidance capabilities in high-risk airspace and significantly improve its ground attack capabilities. Looking at the development process of military power of various countries since the new century, China can be said to be the fastest developing country. So, where has China's magic bomber modification plan progressed now? Up to now, China already has multiple models of bombers from H-6 to H-6K. Both bomb load and range have been greatly improved, and the overall performance is different from the past. Take the H-6K as an example. As a medium and long-range bomber model of the Chinese Air Force, it has the capabilities of long-distance attack and out-of-defense aircraft. Coupled with the later upgrades and improvements of engines, radars, and other equipment, the H-6K is more powerful than the H-6 and is unanimously called the God of War by the outside world. On this basis, China took into account external environmental factors and carried out a new round of magic modifications to the existing H-6K and finally launched a new model of the H-6N. From the appearance point of view, the H-6N has a lot of new equipment and has many advantages that the H-6K does not have. Chinese military experts said that for a long time in the past, the H-6K was affected by range, load capacity, fuel capacity, etc., 
and could not strike a balance between range and load. It can be seen that only with intercontinental flight capabilities can we cover farther places. Fortunately, the H-6N has now completed its magic modification, and its combat radius and combat range have been significantly improved. As the latest bomber in the H-6 family, the H-6N mainly focuses on its ability to receive refueling in the air. In other words, without refueling, its maximum combat radius can reach more than 3,000 kilometers. After aerial refueling, the range can be increased to more than 5,000 kilometers, and it can easily enter the depths of the Pacific Ocean. As far as this set of data is concerned, it has already caught up with the American B-2 bomber. Moreover, the maximum range of the H-6N has exceeded the 10,000 km limit and transformed into a true strategic bomber. By then, the Chinese Air Force will have the first bomber capable of long-range intercontinental flight, which is no less significant than the J-20. Of course, the H-6N is only comparable to the B-2 in terms of combat radius. In terms of overall combat capability, there is still a certain gap between it and the serious strategic bombers of the United States and Russia. For example, the bomb load capacity. Under the same flight range, the H-6N will affect the bomb load capacity due to the size difference. This cannot currently be solved through upgrading. Even so, the launch of the H-6N still makes many Chinese happy. After all, China started late, and strategic bombers are a key link in the Trinity nuclear strike system. It is difficult for China to surpass the opponent's decades of hard work in just a dozen years. But one thing to note is that falling behind now does not mean falling behind forever. Since China's bomber range, bomb load and other data are difficult to match the opponent's bomber, we will start from other directions. Therefore, which missile is equipped becomes very important. Judging from the current known information, the H-6N can carry 6YJ-12, Changjian-20 and other heavy anti-ship missiles. Among them, the U.S. media calls the YJ-12 the most dangerous anti-ship missile produced by China so far, surpassing the Dongfeng-21D in danger. Under normal circumstances, in order to ensure a longer range, cruise missiles will reduce the speed of the cruise segment to high subsonic speed, which is about Mach 0.80.9. But the YJ-12's full supersonic speed means that it will increase its speed to Mach 2 from the beginning of the cruise phase, and its terminal speed will reach Mach 4. In this case, the reaction time of the YJ-12 missile for the enemy's air defense system will be greatly shortened, making it naturally difficult to intercept. For this reason, Foreign media have written articles saying that after the H-6N is equipped with YJ-12 and other anti-ship missiles, its anti-ship capabilities have been significantly improved. This may indicate that it has set full-time Aegis Killer as its main combat direction from the beginning of research and development. The H-6N is regarded by many as the pinnacle of the Chinese Air Force because of its powerful performance and combat advantages. So, what are its other highlights? First of all, compared with the H-6K, the most obvious improvement of the H-6N is the aerial refueling tube. In fact, it can be seen from some past news that the H-6K rarely performs missions such as circling the sun. This is mainly due to its insufficient range, so in most cases it only makes a half-distance around the sun flight. But the H-6N is different. In order to improve the short legs problem, an aerial refueling pipe is specially added. In this way, the bomber will have enough power to complete tasks that were previously impossible. Moreover, when the range is sufficient, 
the H6N can naturally further expand the strike range and even cover targets deep in the Pacific Ocean. Secondly, the H6N cancelled the large bomb bay in the belly and replaced it with an obvious groove. In this way, missiles with larger diameters can be mounted here. As for the missile, outsiders speculate that it is most likely to be the hypersonic missile Dongfeng-17, Dongfeng-21D, or some anti-ship missiles or even nuclear bombs. Coupled with improvements in the H-6N search and tracking fire control system, power, and flight control systems, it is enough to easily lock on large aircraft carriers thousands of miles away. China has upgraded many equipment of the H-6N, such as the replacement of new electronic pods and the support of Beidou satellites. The overall informatization capabilities and electronic warfare capabilities of the H-6N will be greatly improved. Even in a complex electromagnetic environment, it has certain survivability and counterattack capabilities. Finally, based on the concept of coordinated engagement, the degree of integration between the H-6N and other combat platforms continues to increase, thus forming a powerful strike system. In this system, we can roughly guess that it will include Dongfeng-26 and other anti-ship missiles, hypersonic missiles, as well as Type 075 amphibious assault ships, aircraft carriers, and other ships. In this way, China's anti-access-slash-area denial system will inevitably become more complete and deny U.S. aircraft carriers thousands of miles away. Therefore, whether it is the mounted missiles or some newly added new designs, it shows that the H-6N is worthy of its name on the list of the world's top five bombers. According to the ranking of the U.S. media, Military Observer magazine, the 260 ranks first among the top five bombers in the world. Although it was born in the 1980s, its strong strength determines that the 2160 is still the most deterrent strategic bomber. As a result, the aircraft will assume important strategic strike missions. Moreover, the 2160 has set many world records since its launch, such as the world's largest and fastest strategic bomber and the bomber with the longest flight distance. Ranked second is the American B-2, which has an absolute advantage in stealth performance and is the only stealth bomber in the world. China's H-6N ranked fifth. According to the U.S. media, the reason why it is listed as fifth is mainly because the H-6N is a strategic bomber that is still in mass production and has been continuously updated and upgraded. Among the hundreds of bombers owned by the Chinese Air Force, the H-6 is constantly being replaced with the latest models. In addition to this advantage, the H-6N is also an improved model specially developed for electronic warfare, anti-ship, and ultra-long-distance precision strikes. Therefore, the H-6N shows great advantages in terms of current combat effectiveness and future potential. Under this circumstance, many people are curious about the future development of China's bombers. So, what is China's future development direction? Has the technical route been determined? According to reports, China's new generation of bombers may adopt a flying wing layout and a technical route of high subsonic speed and stealth penetration. In fact, this choice is not difficult to understand. After all, the current research and development trend of various equipment in the world has shown signs of stealth, so bombers from various countries will most likely adopt this design in the future. All in all, we believe that with China's current strength, it will definitely develop more advanced weapons in the future. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.